March 1st is a day that carries special meaning for Koreans in remembrance of the Independence Day movement against Japanese rule back in 1919. A host of ceremonies take place across the country to honor those who sacrificed their lives and fought for Korea's freedom. With the removal of social distancing measures, people are taking to the streets once more to take part in the ceremonies and celebrations. Our Moon Aryeon has the details. 104 years ago, thousands of students and leaders alike were massacred by the Japanese police force and army as they gathered in the streets of Seoul in solidarity against the annexation of the Korean Peninsula by Japan. Every year on March 1st, South Korea hangs the national flag from buildings and on the streets in remembrance. And this year, people can once more see Korean flags filling the streets outside Hyotang Park in Seoul, commonly dubbed Park of Heroes. One of the independence activists laid to rest in the park is Kim Gu, the head of the provisional government of the Republic of Korea, first established on April 11, 1919. The independence movement of March 1st provided a catalyst for its establishment and the National Memorial of the Korean Provisional Government in its exhibitions shows how it was done and the key figures behind it. More than 200 copies of the Declaration of Independence were drawn up in 1919, but on display here are the four main copies. The first was announced in Tokyo on February 8th, and the second was read aloud at the start of the March 1st independence movement by 33 representatives. The third was issued in Jilin, China, and the fourth is the Provisional Government Declaration. According to the director of the Memorial Center, South Korea's quest for independence through the press went beyond Asia to all four corners of the world. I hope that people will be able to understand that the independence movement didn't just happen within the country. It happened in every place where Koreans were in the world. Visitors to the exhibition can learn more about the Provisional Government and leave behind their own traces in history by coloring in a wall mural. With the fight for independence against foreign oppression happening around the world even today, March 1st and what it stands for is still of great significance. Moon Haryeon, Arirang News.